Hi guys, it's Joel and welcome back to the channel here at Overland Kings and welcome to another episode of Behind the Build. So today what we have here is a Ford Ranger Raptor and if you've seen our previous episode, you've seen that we've done a Jeep Gladiator and you know, from that episode, some of our friends have seen it and gave us a ring. They said, hey, Joel, can you build us a Jeep Gladiator build that's converted into a Ford Ranger Raptor? So here's our Ford Ranger Raptor. But you know, in Overland King style, we don't like doing things again. So we, do, we did put out our own twist to it on the debrief of our friend and our client. So basically, he also wants to be able to cook in the car. So that's something we incorporated. But also there are a lot of a little finer things that, you know, uh, that he doesn't want. And uh, we've also incorporated the off-road and overland lifestyle into this rig. So we did put some off-road goodies into it. And it must be capable to hang out in the boondocks for at least three days. So that's part of the brief. But you know, I'm gonna stop talking and just show you the build of this Ford Ranger Raptor. Let's start with the exterior of this car. Just to note, this car already came half built. So there was already a suspension lift on it. So we just had, had to do the fine tuning to make it suitable for this overland rig. So up front, uh, it came with an option, option uh, steel bumper at front. And what we've done is we've incorporated now a Sabre soft shackle with, a, what do you call it? A recovery point from Sabre with a 12,000 Dominator winch from Adventure Kings. Also, what we've done is we've incorporated an ARB under chassis protection uh, since this car is going to be used for off-roading and overlanding also. So that car is now equipped to do those, uh, you know, slightly more gnarly trails. This already came with a uh, Nito tires and uh, Sota rims. So we're not sure what that one is, but what we've also done is we've refitted the bumpers. I don't know if you see this, but we're quite particular about uh, panel gaps. Uh, everybody has a take on how to mount steel bumpers, but basically I like it flush and OEM looking. So that's what we have on a steel bumper. Also up front, we've uh, incorporated a GME 2.1 dB short antenna, uh, which is, in, uh, which is uh, plugged inside with a Cygnus radio for communications off-grid. In the back, where most of the heavy lifting has happened, the, this is upgraded with uh, heavy-duty load-rated springs. If I'm not mistaken, this, these are King Springs, but already came with it. So that's it for the exterior. To round it up, there's a steel bumper from Option also in the rear. Now let's look at the roof where we started modifying it. So up top, we have mo put a front runner slimline rack together with, uh, already came with a rigid, so we just incorporated the 40, I think, the, I believe this is a 43 inch rigid light. And uh, we fitted it with recovery gears like the Max Trax so with a Max Trax mount on the top and two front runner Wolfpack Pros in the top to round up the look and carrying capability on the roof. On either side, uh, we've uh, put a shovel and a bare bones axe in case you really need to use it. But honestly, this is for the aesthetic part, so it looks nice. So uh, that's, uh, that's what we have here. Up top, we have the iCamper 3.0, of course, the star of the show, the best tent, I think, uh, that's available in the market. Uh, that's a 3.0, comes with an annex and also with a awning. So what I like with, with uh, the iCamper, you already seen this before, we've mounted on multiple cars, but basically it has one of the best heat dissipating abilities and you've seen the little details that we like on the 3X, like the, the angled steps, pull down uh, straps when, you, when you're closing the tent. So those are all nice add-ons to, to this rig. Round in the side, we have uh, work lights. Uh, both on the side and on the rear so that at night when it's pitch black, it's running on the second battery, you'll be able to see the surroundings. On the left side of the, of the car is, or the driver's side is we have outfitted it with a Mammoth Switchblade awning, 270 degrees, freestanding awning. So freestanding awnings just give you more space. But if you do need to use the pole, it comes with the built-in pole. So you could still use the pole and uh, raise the awning up just in case you know there are those angled parts but basically you can use it without the pole now let's move to the interior so in the back of the pickup we have the rsi smart canopy of course you've already seen that and uh, what we put here is a mountain mule kitchen drawer system 
Uh, this is applicable for any pickups. When it pulls out, it comes with two burners and it comes with a sink and uh, two countertops and everything just folds back in. Um, on the right side of this drawer system is a blank drawer, 1300, and a fridge slide which we modified so that it'll drop down. This is up top on the fridge slide, we have the new 45 liter King Stay School freezer. This is the new generation freezers. This is one off, but soon the new generation of King's freezer will all be available here at Overland King's. So what's new about it is you can open it this way without flipping it around or open it from my side without flipping it around. So bang, pretty cool. So you don't have to flip things around. And of course, it's a sturdier construction. It's now, and it looks good. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is a 45 liter. Um, let's move on. So everything is powered by this Mammoth Cyberbox 3000. And I think just to clarify from our last vlog, um, the 3000 here stands for the inverter power. So in short, you can run a 3000 watt appliance, okay? The, so it's correct that when we said it last time, it's called the Mammoth Cyberbox 3600 watt hour battery. So the 3000 here represents the inverter, not the battery. So this one is powered by solar and it also can be powered by your car when your alternator is running or when the car is running. Uh, it's equipped with three uh, 220 volts and we have a type C, we have a cigarette light, uh, we have the normal U USB port and there's a quick charger on the top. We already mounted the inverter battery charger so that when you're at home, you can just put an extension cord from here and just plug it for uh, our estimation is around 10 to 15 hours. You should have a full charge for this 3,600 watt battery. On the other side, what we have here is our little touch that we like to do. And this is where a lot of the thinking and customization come to play. So our, our friend and our client here loves whiskey. So again, we're not for drinking and driving, but if you're in a campsite, this is definitely usable. So what we have here is a personalized whiskey bar. So what we put together is an ice maker for whiskey on the rocks. We have a Glenfiddich Grand Reserva, 21 years. And uh, we, we put in all, the, of course, uh, you've seen this, we have our highball glasses uh, with the ice and for your drinks. And to top it off, we put a JBL speaker in the back so that when you're having your whiskey, you can have a nice music while you're playing, uh, while you're drinking. Together with that, uh, we didn't skimp out on the box. So this box is sound treated. So it, is a, it actually has sound deadening behind this. Uh, with a carpet uh, felt on it, so it's, it acts like a speaker box. So those just are just little things we added to it so that you can have a better sound quality when you're playing your uh, Bluetooth speaker. Uh, this from JBL. One more customization, I don't know if you've seen this. This is not a stock RSI mount. So we did, this thing has a water system. So we did put the water system now, incorporated it into the canopy so that everything won't get wet if you're refilling your water. So now this is incorporated into the canopy, so you just turn this and you can just plug your hose there to refill your water. Ta-da! Another first. And uh, we have a soda riser here on inside. Uh, this is so that you can have uh, carbonates, carbonated water for your tonic drink or whatever uh, floats your boat. Last but not the least, we've incorporated this uh, table uh, that just easily gets out and just hooks here. And the purpose of this is so that you could use uh, a lower space when you're when you're reaching for I don't know put your glasses prep space for your kitchen for your drinks so just nice touches of course everything is lighted up with Terra Loom lights all around in amber to give you that uh, warm feeling at night when we turn everything on and it does take the bugs away together with the 270 degree switchblade awning from Mammoth we've also put a Adventure King shower awning here. Uh, which will serve as a changing room and the shower place for this rig if you're out there in the boondocks, you know, and you need some privacy. So that rounds up the driver's side uh, accessories or uh, gear that we put on this uh, Ranger Raptor. So guys, if you want a customized rig that you can take out, just give us your comments and you give us your ideas and maybe we can make something for you. Back here, it's a kitchen rig that can do off-road and overlanding. But if you do have any other cars, like a Ranger or an Everest or a Fortuner or a Hilux or a Jimny, uh, you know, we'll be happy to build you one of those. So again, this is Joel Pedro from Overland Kings. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe if you do like what you're doing and we'll see you in the next adventure.
No, no.